from the News Talk ZB Newsroom. This is News Fix. In this update, Auckland police have cordoned off an area in Blockhouse Bay and opened a homicide investigation into an incident. At least four dog units and armed police have been seen at the Blockhouse Bay Tennis Club and a recreational reserve on Rathlin Street. A man working near the tennis club says police had arrived at his workplace to investigate what they called an alleged assault. New Zealand firefighters are continuing to battle wildfires alongside their Canadian counterparts. A seven-person incident management team, which left on July 21, arrived home this morning. A further 21 New Zealanders remain on the ground to help control hundreds of wildfires raging across British Columbia. Fire and Emergency Deputy National Commander Brendan Nally says there are currently 826 active fires. There was well over 900 at one point, but they've lost about... 5.2 5.2 million hectares this fire season. Italian authorities have switched into investigation mode as they piece together how the Supiot Bayesian sank off the coast of Sicily. All seven bodies have been recovered from the wreckage of the British flagged yacht after it was caught in a heavy storm on Monday. As British officials work to establish a timeline of events, local media report Italian prosecutors are investigating manslaughter and shipwreck charges. But maritime investigator James Wilkes says there has to be different diplomatic cooperation between both England and Italy. The first weekend of the largest winter pride celebration in the Southern Hemisphere is underway. Starting as Gay Ski Week in 2003, the now 11-day Winter Pride Festival in Queenstown brings together 50-plus events ranging from skiing to snowboarding, DJs and dance parties. Winter Pride Limited owner Sam Coltard says this is their 21st year and everyone's welcome. It's been around for a long time. This is our first year of owning it. And it's a very, very important part to our community and the love and the acceptance from all the businesses and what Queenstown has to offer. That's news. In sport, Teano Tennis 8 Lulu Soon is one win away from a maiden WTA singles title. The 23-year-olds threw to the final of the Monterey Open in Mexico. Soon is on the verge of becoming the first New Zealander to win a WTA singles title since Marina Irakovic in 2013. She'll play Czech Linda Noskova in tomorrow's final. The Tasman Markor have won their third straight game in rugby's NPC. Tasman's up to third after a 48-3 win over Counties Monaco in Pukekoe. In the Farah Palmer Cup Women's Premiership, the county's Monaco Heat beat the Bay of Plenty Volcanics 41-31 in Fakatane. And the Auckland Storm also won, beating Canterbury 43-27 in Christchurch. That's sport. I'm Joe Gilfillan. For more news, listen to News Talk ZB live on iHeartRadio.